Hey, welcome back in NBC five again. Take that raincoat with you. It's going to be raining as we're getting into the later half of today, going all the way through at least early Sunday, and then we'll be clearing out by the start of next week. Of course, we'll be getting mountain snow with this as well, but those snow levels will be much higher than the event we had earlier this week. 38 degrees, which is six degrees warmer than yesterday morning. Snow levels already this morning around 3000 feet. Guess what? By the uh, by tomorrow, they could be up as high as five to 5,500 feet. Little breezy already this morning into our eastern counties. That wind speed is going to stay quite gussy through this afternoon. It will drop off a little bit once we get into the nighttime hours and then wind continues to climb as we're getting through tomorrow. And it's not only going to be to our east. It's also going to be along the coastline and down across here in the valley. So a little bit gustier for tomorrow. Some of the strongest wind down into the Shasta Valley. That's where we could see some gusts getting above 50 miles per hour. We have this stalled out front just out to our north. A lot of moisture moving in from the west, and this is going to be bringing in the first round of precipitation here through today. This next storm system is going to be diving right into Oregon, and that's going to be bringing the next heavier precipitation as we get into Saturday. So you see that kind of plume of moisture moving in for today. We got a nice little setup of rain for most of the western half of our area. Once you get into the Cascades and areas east, that's where we see the snow changing over to that wintry precipitation. But like I mentioned, tomorrow we'll continue to see some of the snow levels climbing to around 5,500 feet. So getting a bit higher, meaning more rain and even our eastern counties will have the potential for some rain and snow mix uh, once we get through tomorrow. If you happen to be traveling north, they're going to be dealing with some colder surface air temperatures that could lead to the potential of some freezing rain and icy conditions. Travel travel issues a little bit further to our north, but you also see that system diving in across Oregon and then clearing out as we get into early Sunday. Sunday will likely start off cloudy and then we'll start to see some breaks in the cloud late into the day. So snow levels will be climbing, getting around 3,500 feet this afternoon quickly climbing overnight tonight and through early Saturday morning and how quickly is a big determiner determiner on uh, how much snow we see for our area. I've had a little bit of a difference compared comparing to some models yesterday to what we're getting and expecting for this morning on the model forecast. So we still have the winter storm warning. This is starting late today, going all the way through Saturday for elevations above 4,500 feet. That's where we could see some kind of some whiteout conditions, especially along some of those mountain passes and some gusts up to 50 miles per hour, a little bit higher winds expected into the Shasta Valley. And it's not only heavy snowfall, it's also heavy rain rain, especially building up across the west. This is where we could see some flooding condition conditions. A couple of inches of rain will be possible for Brookings, Crescent City, even stretching towards Cape Junction, uh, likely to see around an inch of rain for the valley through today and for tomorrow. And you see the snow building up into the Cascades, another six to eight inches up at Mount Ashland and some of the traveling conditions. Siskiyou Summit about two to four inches, not too bad compared to earlier this week, but still could have some slick spots up there. You see the buildup of the heavier snow up into the Cascades. That's where we'll likely see over a foot. Crater Lake likely getting three to four feet of additional snow. The valley again, rain is expected clearing by early Sunday. We start next week a little bit quiet and then by Wednesday we see another chance of shower. Still a little bit of difference in our long range models for the middle half of next week, so keeping a chance for now. We see highs climbing into the mid and upper 40s and staying that through the seven days. Some lower 40s on Sunday for climate falls, then much colder into the start of next week, especially with the morning temperatures and Northern California rain and wind again through Saturday, clearing out more sunshine to start out next week as well as the coastline, but rain chances picking up by Wednesday.